Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron and we're very excited to be partnering up with Keith McMillan Instruments to offer you some special discounts and some free software bundles with certain purchases. So if you wanna learn any more about that, click the link down below. So in this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating the keyboard and the bot pad alongside a few of our other libraries to show you some interesting and fun ways that you can program MIDI using these controllers. And if you'd like to download some of the multis that I'm using in this video, you can find those in the description as well. So without further ado, let's start checking it out. So the first instrument we're gonna be taking a look at today is the bot pad from Keith McMillan Instruments, and this is perfect for any type of percussion. And Eric over at Keith McMillan Instruments kindly made this multi that you can use. This is using Apocalypse Percussion Micro, and you have these four different quadrants, and there's a lot of things going on under the hood. If you wanna take a look at that, you can get the link in the description below. So I'm just gonna show you what's going on here. So we have a multi that's created with the dual layer, and there's the bass drum, the snare, the sticks, and the rick drum. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you some examples just so you can see what's going on. just play with your fingers. You can also use drumsticks if you want, but I feel like fingers, it's a little bit easier just to kind of get those. And with the bot pad, it also comes with an editor that you can control and you can change which MIDI notes are on the different quadrants. If you want it to just be a single drum, you can do that too. So if you want to just program in some snare type stuff or you know having the multiple quadrants is definitely helpful if you want to have uh, more than one instrument on here. So after playing around with the bot pad for a little bit, I was trying to think of some other creative or outside of the box ways of using something that would typically be known for uh, programming percussion. So I loaded up our emotional piano and I loaded up four different NKIs. And what I did is on each note, and on each note I have a different effect. So if let's say you want, you want to program some type of horror type stuff, you can have maybe uh, a specific note pattern that maybe you want or you just want some notes that are a little bit clustered together and then what I did is for each note I have them pan differently and I also have different effects on them so if you want to do some kind of And this is cool because you don't normally write that way with a piano. Normally every, everything is on one track and you play all the different notes with both hands. But this is a different and sort of interesting way of approaching maybe something like a, like a piano instrument or something that is a little bit more melodic. So I thought that was pretty fun. If you want to download this multi, you can download that in the description too. So now we're gonna be taking a look at the Keyboard Pro 4, and what I love about this is that I wouldn't necessarily program the same way on here as I would, let's say, like a complete control uh, keyboard or something like that because there's no mod wheel on here. So the way uh, that I would go about it, since it has the MPE functionality, is that you can actually So you can actually, by sliding up and down on the keyboard, you can get some more expressive type stuff. So by just being able to have two hands on the keyboard and being able to still control the expression is just really powerful and I think it's what makes this just one of those have to have MIDI controllers in your studio just because it just makes life so much easier. And it's just another way of 
getting ideas out with both hands on a keyboard. And for this example, I'm gonna be using our Hyperion Strings Elements. And using something like the Keyboard Pro 4 with something like Emotional Piano is a lot of fun too because the way this triggers, it's not like a normal piano where it has more of like a push type button like the Complete Control. Uh, it just has this very touch sensitive type key bed and it makes playing really easy especially if you're new to piano and you just wanna This makes it really easy, so if you're just, you know. Really easy and just, you know, a different way of, you know, a, the tactile approach of playing on a, on a MIDI controller. All right, so that about wraps up this video. If you want to learn more about the Keyboard Pro 4 or the Bot Pad from Keith McMillan Instruments and how you can save on some special discounts and free software bundles, make sure to click the link in the description below. If you want to learn about any of the libraries used in this video, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.